celebrate our seniors tonight. Um, before I go down here, we have five seniors we have with us here today. And usually, every time I hear about senior night, they go down a line of stats. I don't really want to go into the stats with these guys because each and every single day, they produce at many different levels that don't show up on the stat sheet. So thank you to you guys for being here all season long for a few years. All right, first up we have Evan Renton. If Evan Renton's family is here, we ask you to join us. Uh, just a few words about Brenton. Uh, he came in as a transfer student and he played, this is his second season and his main uh, personality towards the team was more like a role player for us in any position, middle, outside, opposite, no matter where we needed, if someone went down, he was willing and available to step up. His work ethic is second to none, he's, he's a very quiet dude. I uh, never complain, never ever complain. Only one time, I think one guy got injured and we were really down and we needed this big boost. And it was actually early this season when we had conference games. So he started those two games, he played extremely well. So then the guy was injured, he was making his way back. So I decided to play the guy a little bit the following games. So the first question I would ask me is like, Coach, why didn't I start? <laughs> so it just goes to show that he got that opportunity and he saw what it felt like being out there and he knew he could contribute. But sometimes we were players are actually really good to have on a team like what we have right now. And I appreciate you for accepting that role and producing as best as you can. Right. Thank you. Yeah, Bree, she's getting it. Yeah, Bree, she's getting it. This is a great one. Next up, we have Nathaniel Chin. If there's one self family that is always here, it's Nate's family, and I expect to make them here. This is the third season of the team. I promised myself when I took this job not to ever talk about this, this situation I had with me. Right. But, but he would know, he is guilty of it. He was the first one to remind me. I pretended to forget. And the first thing he mentioned to everybody was, hey, this coach who is coming to take over, he cut me from his club team. <laughs> So of course, my initial thing to do when I made the final roster the first time around was to leave him up deliberately. <laughs> but it was just a joke at that time. Nate, Nate definitely is a very, very hard worker. Right? He's a very, very hard worker. And he has great potential to do great things, both on and off the court. Nate also could start any game with us. And we had this discussion time and time again that we need a boost coming off the bench sometimes. And he accepted that role to me, but probably to himself, he still doesn't really accept it. But just for respect as coach to player, he did that and I appreciate that on your behalf. All right, so thank you. Once again. And 
we, we are very happy to have them back. Sam just gives us that, that incredible boost whenever he's on the court. The only thing for Sam, like in general, not just for volleyball, it's just life in general, is just stay healthy, my friend. Stay healthy. Stay healthy. If you stay healthy, you will accomplish a lot more than you accomplish in your life. If Sam's family is here, ask them to come over. Thank you very much. 